Kupade Shakatabada, Rekedele Brodo Sope, Elegedo Brako Shakatabada, Elegedo Brako Shakatabada, Okay. 
today. Transform life today. Let someone encounter you. Let your power be displayed like never before today. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. Amen. Hallelujah. Before we step into prayer, the word for today, 2 Chronicle 29. 2 Chronicle 29. Second Chronicle 29, verse number 15. Second Chronicle 29, verse number 15. And they, and they gathered their brethren and sanctified themselves and came and came according to the commandment of the king by the words of the Lord to, to cleanse the house of the Lord. There came a commandment of the king for the house of the Lord to be cleansed. And I want to be aware that we are the temple of the living God. So when we are talking about the house of the Lord, we are just talking about the house Building is also talking about our temple. A commandment was given to the king for the to be for the house of the Lord to be clean. For the house of the Lord to be clean. And hear me and hear me clearly tonight. Our prayer focus for this night is to make demand for cleansing. Our prayer focus for tonight is to make demand for cleansing. If there is going to be revival, if there's going to be revival and if there's going to be craving, we need to make demand for cleansing. For cleansing. For total cleansing in our life and in our destiny. So tonight, our prayer focus is to make demand for cleansing. We make demand for God to cleanse us. If we are going to experience greatness, if we are going to experience the outpouring of God's presence and God's power, then we need to make demand for cleansing. For cleansing. Where there is spiritual deadliness, there cannot be spiritual flow. Where there is spiritual deadliness, we may not see the flow of the presence of God, the flow of the power of God, the flow of the glory of God. And that is the reason why we need to make demand for cleansing. Why we are trusting God to answer our prayer. Why we are trusting God to, to handle our heart desire. We must first of all make demand for God to cleanse us. And I'm going to mention a few things that is going to be our focus for tonight. Few things that the Lord will clean, should, will clean us from, or things that we should be clean from. Number one, from faults, fault and sin. Psalm 19 verse 12. We are to be cleansed from fault and sin. So the first thing we are making demand for God is to be clean from fault. Psalm 19 verse 12. He said, who can understand his errors? Cleanse thou me from secret faults. Who can understand the error? So until you are clean from faults, you can't feel fire. It is when God cleans us from every fault, every guilt, every sin, we can see fire. Where there is fault, where there is sin, there can be fire. As a matter of fact, sin kills fire. Iniquity terminates unction. When where there is where there is iniquity, there cannot be fire. There can be unction. If we are going to see the hand of God these 40 days in our life and in the church and in our destiny, one of the things we must make demand is to make demand for cleansing, is to make demand for God to cleanse us from every fault and sin. That is number one. 
Number two, what are we making demand for God to cleanse us from? We are making demand for God to cleanse us from every contamination. Karabahusa, ikopate kosopa. We are making demand for God to cleanse us from every contamination. There are many of us, our destiny has been contaminated. God. If you are meant to be a progressive person and for example you start dating or relating or have a friend or have a colleague or have somebody whose destiny is black, it can contaminate your own destiny. Many destiny has been contaminated. A lot of people that are meant to be great in life has become small because their destiny, their life has been contaminated. So the essence of tonight's prayer is to ask God to cleanse me. Maybe your life has been contaminated. Maybe your destiny has been contaminated. Maybe your blood has been contaminated. That is going to be cleansing. That is going to be cleansing. I declare there will be cleansing from destiny. Everyone whose life has been contaminated, I decree that my God is cleaning you. My God will cleanse you in the name of Jesus. Ezekiel 36 verse 25. Ezekiel 36 verse number 25. That will be the scripture for that word. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you. And ye shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you. So there are people who have been contaminated by idol. The Lord, before we pray. What is what are we praying for cleansing from? We are praying for cleansing from pollution and defilement. Pollution and defilement. I can stay long ahead. What is that? There are people that step into your house, the atmosphere of your house is polluted. There are people that step into your life, everywhere is polluted, polluted with dryness. Polluted with emptiness, polluted with poverty. That are in your life. That are people. That's why you don't step into marital, marriage, relationship without praying. That is a woman that will step into your life today. A, a rising man will become a crawling man. There's, there are people that will step into your life. There are people that carry a bad aura, carry a bad atmosphere. So we need to be cleansed from every every pollution. Maybe your atmosphere is. Let me say this to you: that your atmosphere determines your experience. Your atmosphere. What is the atmosphere around you? Some of us, the atmosphere around us is the atmosphere of poverty, atmosphere of empty. God wants to sanctify the atmosphere. God wants to sanctify the atmosphere of your of of, of your house. Of your, life, of your life so that you can move forward 12 chapter 21 12 chapter 2 21 there are some of us our environment is polluted some of us our life is polluted our life is polluted so we are making demand 12 chapter 3 chapter 3 21 12 chapter 3 verse 21 so we are making demand today for divine cleansing and what are we to expect? He said, For I will cleanse their blood that I have not cleansed from the Lord. Cleanse for the Lord dwelleth in Zion. For I will cleanse their blood that I have not cleansed. For the Lord dwelleth in Zion. What are we to expect when God cleans us? Expect divine remembrance. If God cleans you, you will be remembered. Number two, expect greatness, expect greatness, expect greatness, expect great things to happen. These are two things to expect. So after this prayer, get ready, God is about to remember you. Two, get ready, great things is about to happen in the name of Jesus. 
Wherever you appear, your feet and let's pray. We are about to step into prayer. The first prayer we're going to pray. And I want to pray those prayers with all your heart. You may be in your living room watching us right now. You may be anywhere in your office watching us. Connect to the prayer. This is part of our, of our 40th prayer. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. By your blood. From every fault and every sin, in the name of Jesus, we put your mother pray. Jesus, cleanse me from every fault and from every sin. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, cleanse me from every fault and from every sin. In the name of Jesus, somebody make the man for cleansing of every fault and every sin. Roko Shade, and the Paracote Borosa, in the Pacote Lepara, Rakosa, pray where you are, pray where you are, in the Pacote Lisa, Rokote Neparosa, in the Ganaga da Parota, Lecote, Rosia, Rakote Banana, in Copate Rosia, Rokote Banagada, Rokote Banagade, Rash. by your blood. Cleanse me from every fault, from every wrong. Jesus, by your blood, cleanse me. Wiped out 
the atmosphere of hatred be wiped out, the atmosphere of sickness be wiped out, let every atmosphere 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 be wiped out, every negative atmosphere, every atmosphere of death, every atmosphere of sickness, every atmosphere of dryness, every atmosphere of poverty, blood of Jesus, sanctify the atmosphere over freedom life, over my life, over my destiny, in Jesus' name. Two more prayers, and I'm going to prophesy. Something's already happening. Don't joke with what we are doing here. It may be online, but there's still fire. Say, Father, in this season of 40 days of revival, remember me. Remember me. Remember me. Remember me. Open your mouth and pray. Father, in this season of 40 days of encounter, of 40 days of revival, please remember me. Please remember me. Remember me for a change of story. Remember me for a change of story. Ayada Bagada in Koparaga Dagadosa Rogoda Parodosa. Please remember me. Elagada Bodo Berosa in Kopata Lazada. Please remember me. Rakota Liga Dabada. Please remember me. Remember my household. Remember this family. Remember freedom life. Remember the members. Those who are looking for children. Remember them. Those who need transformation, remember them. Those who need a job, remember them. Those who need favor, remember them. In this season, let them be remembrances. In this season, let them be remembrances. Let remembrance Oh God, in this season we cry for remembrance. Father, remember this church. Remember your church. Remember the members. Remember the members. Remember the church. Remember the members. Remember the the church, the Kutumana, the Shiga, Rotelia, the Pradesa, Rokotesa, Latibana. Wherever you are watching, even though you are watching this now, even though you are listening to us, just pray the prayer the way we are praying. You are already following the program. I am Agana Kosia, in Abana. You may not be watching live or listening live, but just follow it all. Ah! Remember Lord, remember Lord, in Jesus' name. This is the last prayer. We are praying it for ourselves and we are praying it for the church. And what is the prayer? Father, do great things in my life. Before this 40 days is over, do great things. In Freedom and International Christian Center, do great things. Open your mouth and let it be your prayer. In freedom life, international Christian center, do great things, do great things, do great things, do great things through me, oh God, in this place, in this city, do great things, Ragadagadapada, Latabatokosha, in Pradagada, Rosovia, Ayadagada, Lekate, Rosavia, in Abradeha, Rosapara, Ekatorosa, in Abara. Robotobada, 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 Elagadabada, Iswarakata, El Predisa, Losoya, Ikorata, La Tereso, Ragadabada, El Tepara, Iswarata, before the season is over, do great things, Lord. Ah, Yagadabada, do great things, Lord. Hey, Yagadabada, Baragada, do great things, Lord. Hey, Labaragada. In Abaragada, in Abaragada, in La Teresa, do great things, Lord. Abragada, El Debredo, El Suarada, El Abarada, in Abada, El Ragada, El Suada. Yes, Lord. 
in the name of Jesus. Everywhere you are watching from there, your hands on your head. The power of God is strong. I feel fire burning so heavy. I feel the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name that is above every name, I speak to somebody listening to me right now. By the mandate of grace, I declare this season is your season of remembrance. It's your season of remembrance. Anyone who looks like God has forgotten you, looks like everything has closed. Before the end of this 40 days, the heaven will remember you. Men will remember you. In the name of Jesus, anyone hearing the sound of my voice, that life has forgotten you. Men has forgotten you. Everything seems as if you're under a bondage. Karashate, Luporo Kopanaza, Lete Kutaba, Zute Kurapa, Leto Kruna Anda, Leto Subrikato, Rato Shiba, Leto Kopanaha. There are 49 people who is listening to me right now, watching me. 49 of you. I heard God say, between now and next week, Monday, 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 as the Lord delivered, you will be remembered. You will be remembered. Something is about to turn on your behalf. Something is about to change on your behalf. There is someone listening to me. Somebody from abroad is going to call you. That call is going to be the end of your poverty. In the name of Jesus, I speak over your life. Nakoro Tosha, Ipara, divine, divine intervention. Somebody watching me right now, get ready. God will do great things. God will do great things. Great things beyond your understanding. Great things beyond your imagination. The Lord will do great things. Rokati Bretusa, the Lord will do great things. I speak to you wherever you are watching me from. Before this prayer is over, the Lord will do great things. And I speak as the one the Lord has placed here, standing under the grace of my spiritual father, Dr. Pastor Paul Enrique. And I make demand on this church and upon the members. This season we have entered, this phase we have entered, is a phase of great things. It's a phase of great things. The only thing that is permitted to happen for you is great things. We are moving from small to greatness. I feel the anointing here. I Mondays, and I declare great things will begin to happen in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. If you have your expectation, wherever you are watching from, pick up your expectation, and I'm going to declare words. And if you are hearing me, you need to make your wish right with Jesus. We are praying for cleansing, but you need me to pray for you. Pastor, I need to be totally cleansed and washed from my unrighteousness. Anywhere you are, watching me from, lay your hands on your chest and you pray this prayer on time. Lord Jesus, I come to you today. Ask for cleansing. Ask for mercy. Ask for forgiveness. Jesus, come into my life and be my Lord and personal Savior. In Jesus' name. And amen. If you have your expectation, you lift it up and I'm going to declare words on your expectation right now. Marakoshamara. Most high, you are the Lord. Oh, you are the Lord. Most high, you are the Lord. Oh, you create the moon and the earth. You are. Is that there? The presence of God will fill in this place.
this now. We send it to your living room. Send it to your house. Whatever you are lifting up as an expectation, in the name that is above it receives an answer. Touch that expectation on that 